Hey, it's Brian from quantlabs.net. Thank you very much for uh, watching my videos and being part of my community. Yay! Well, I'm back here in Toronto after a week long of uh, partying it up at Disneyland and all those kind of, or Disney World and those kind of places in uh, Florida. Anyways, when you go to places like that, your brain starts to spin, a little gerbil in your and it starts doing this in the wheel. Uh, so start, some things started to come up. A couple things. Fast flow for C++. If you've seen it, check it out. It's really cool. Um, I've, I've introduced it uh, last year, um, which is kind of a, a library I've been watching in C++. It's kind of a, a software accelerator, which can be an alternative uh, to FPGAs and GPUs. Of course, it's not going to be instantly as fast, but it's quite... In, ingeniously designed. Um, I have run it in Linux. The issue is trying to port it over and get it running in Windows. So I put out a a uh, a plea for anybody out there out of the thousands of people that follow me, and I appreciate all every single one of you. But there's going to be some tech guys, some geek guys out there that can help build and get this working in uh, Windows. If not. Give it a shot. Let me know. I'll post a video and I'll give you full full credit, of course. <sighs> okay. <coughs> so that's the point of this whole video is I've been doing webinars. I've got two more um, left uh, for my membership. Thank you very much for being part of that. Uh, I think a lot of people are getting some benefit out of it, getting lots of people watching the replays and just asking a bunch of questions. I post them on the blog and get get a lot of Q and A going. So I know a lot of pe other people are also following the footsteps of learning MATLAB and learning specifically C sharp. Um and uh that's an easy language to learn. Uh I've tried my Java. I think Java it's kinda on its way out. I don't like saying that. I I do like Java until version six. But congratulations Oracle, you've done a great job of destroying once a great language. So I've been focusing on .NET, really like .NET, but as the systems evolve that I've been working on, a few little things have come out of it. Um, the trading component or the orders, uh, the data acquisition, specifically in the area of interactive brokers, is done in C++. People don't know that, but that's what, what's been done. And I found an easy way to port that over uh, using managed code uh, for C Sharp. So the strategies are in C Sharp, obviously. Now, uh, the charting, all that, will always remain in C Sharp because I've got a webinar coming up on it. All the different options that are available to people. Very cool stuff. I'll just do some demos on it. So there's that. Now, uh, the one thing I wanted to address was C++. Because I've got about half the system is done in some form of C++. I'll give you an example. Like I said, I've got a trading, all the market orders. Eventually, if I do go into C, uh, into um, into interactive brokers, uh, a lot of it's going to be all of it's going to be done in C++. Also, uh, the algorithm development because it's coming from the world of MATLAB. Yes, I could do R. Yes, I could do Python. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be integrated through uh, the pipes of C++. Now, um, learning from what I've learned from the London Quant all last year, uh, rolling your own solution, and just understanding of it, uh, the most respected uh, library out there is uh, the GSL, the new GNU uh, scientific library. Uh, I've gone on about it about a week ago. Now that's all done in C, and you can easily create a C++ DLL from it. I shouldn't say easily, but you can create a DLL from it. Um, and then trying to figure out how to uh, create some form of a wrapper that can talk to .NET um, applications, specifically, again, uh, C Sharp. So you see what I'm saying is, is that there's all the algorithms, all the, strategy, the core strategy stuff, as well as the trading uh, and data acquisition parts are all done in C++. Visual C++, I should say, not C++, because... C++, uh, uh, portable C++, uh, for whatever platform is transportable across all uh, platforms, including, uh, obviously, Linux, Unix, Windows, and Mac OS X. So, 
there's that. Then also there's Microsoft's well-known bastardization of um, C++, and that has become Visual C++. On top of that, there's this other gobbledygook and .NET and whatever else they put in 2012. So there's all this stuff, and I'm starting to, to see that more and more I'll be doing more C++ versus C Sharp. C Sharp is going to be important for more of the front end, the database connectivity, but also the C++ again is more for the core stuff, algorithms, uh, data acquisition, just the core of it is going to be done in C++. Now what does that mean? I mentioned fast FastFlow, that's really meant for Linux. Now that gets my little brain thinking is if I really need to get speed and play with this puppy FastFlow, which is quite good, uh, that might be an interesting alternative to uh, other things that I've already talked about. In this webinar as I've been doing for my membership, I'm just presenting all the available options out there. If you're coming from pretty well zero knowledge, continue on that path because that is the smartest path out there to quickly get up and running. Um, I'm thinking maybe farther ahead with the C++ stuff, but we're not talking probably, honestly, months, maybe even years down the line where I could consider this the next generation of what I plan to do to get things faster, tighter, and just banged out there. Um, right now, I'm just doing the quickest path to get me to a live trading model. I've done those before, but now we're talking a true trading model that can take data, make a true trading decision, work with a portfolio, make trading decisions, and wait port, uh, weights on those uh, portfolio, the available portfolio of capital, and make trades on those. So that is my goal over the next week to two weeks to get that banged out. And it's a complete end-to-end -end live trading. I've got one in MATLAB, but let's get that in a .NET, being able to interact with uh, IQ fee and trade through the interactive brokers TWS. Now. TWS is very popular. I get that quite a bit. A lot of people have been working with TWS, the Trader Workstation, from Matt, uh, from Interactive Brokers as a gateway through their market or their broker. A lot of people have been doing it, and a lot of people doing it been doing it for like some uh, have reported over a decade. So it's, it, it is a legitimate way of doing it, just based upon your uh, available credit or capital. So if you're a small player like couple hundred thousand dollars to some that might be a big lot of money um, but uh, TWS is fine for that amount of capital even up to probably a million once you start outgrowing that size you will have to consider moving into uh, other areas like fix or however uh, there is and that's what I'm referring to the next generation I mean it'd be awesome if I could get a million plus account um, who knows but uh, even if I did or didn't, I think I'd have to play it uh, on the download for sure. Uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, C++ seems to be coming out more. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Windows for sure. Um, I know a lot of people might not like that, but that's okay. It's transportable. MATLAB's transportable to whatever uh, platform you decide. Um, and that's it. I just, but on the other hand, I just wanted to say thank you very much again. For everybody who's uh, followed me throughout 2013, it's been obviously the best year. I'm hoping 2014 can be an even a better year. Um, but um, for those that have played in the markets, congrats. You're, I'm hoping, at least 27% up from last year. Uh, and you deserve it, of course. Um, but we're going to try to automate that and exceed those type of returns over the next year and start actually building models and strategies that can start making trades and banging out um, equivalent of uh, self-contained uh, applications that can do all this sort of stuff with charting, with database, with real live, uh, real-time data acquisition, the algo development, and blah, blah, blah. I can go on and on about it. But that's the goal over the next couple of weeks and have a really banging start to 2014. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to you later. Look on the, be on the lookout for new webinars coming up. I'm going to be changing it up quite a bit. Uh, making uh, some stuff available. Uh, yeah, so other than that, have a good one. Talk to you later.